Hey, good morning, guys. Maritza here. This is my detransition video number nine. Maritza's detransitioner's journey number nine. It's Saturday. Um, I'm usually pretty busy Monday through Friday. I do two podcasts, one in the morning, one in the evening. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing two podcasts a day, but for now, that's what I'm doing because I'm also... I do a lot of consults on the phone and, and Skype and things of that nature. So time is pretty tight sometimes, but you know, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, and it's, it's important that people hear the truth. Now, you know, I know everybody says, well, that's your truth, but let, let's, let's break this down. Okay. Let's, let's be logical. You know, it's one thing I'm noticing that society is losing all sorts of logic. They're coming up with these conclusions of things that are basically junk science. And yesterday, somebody that personally messaged me on Facebook got offended when I used the term junk science. Well, get over it. There is such a thing as junk science. And this is what the left is using to promote this agenda that has no objectiveness to it whatsoever. I've mentioned this before. You go back in journals, the medical journals, you're not going to find any of this. Another thing that irks me to no end is everyone's claiming to be intersex. You just can't throw that word around like it's some paper rag. You know, it, no, you, you, you're not entitled to that condition. You have to have a diagnosis. You have to be tested. You have to have, you know, and it's very rare. So stop trying to push your lies on people and getting pity because that's all it is. Listen, I understand. I understand. I've been there. I lived it for 16 years. I know what it is to grow up as a female and wanting to be a guy because guy, guys have more power. Because you think it's cooler to be a dude than to, to be a girl. I get it. Been there, done that. You know, that's why I did it too. There's many reasons. There's many reasons. So we, we create these these lies and then we create these conditions and then we create labels to try to fit ourselves in society because we're not happy with you know what we were handed out many young women hate their breasts because they've been objectified you know they don't like to be all prim and proper and so the push in society is to see a woman be all feminine and all makeup -y and, and stuff like that and, and you know some some girls are not all that frilly. And that's okay. It's okay. I mean, I personally, you know, like to go back and forth. Sometimes I don't wear any makeup. Like today, I don't feel like it. I'm going to go to, you know, grocery shopping after get, I'm get done doing this video. And, you know, I, I really sometimes don't feel like it. And sometimes I do, you know, and that's a prerogative. But to say that one is born wrong, to get, those are big shoes to fill. That's one massive lie. To say you're born wrong, that's like slapping your mom in the face. Mom, you know, you, you got it wrong. The doctor's got it wrong. No, no one's got it wrong. Who's got it wrong is you and the way you're thinking. We really have to understand something here biology. You're an animal. Okay. We're all animals. You, you got genitals for reproduction purposes. That's the only reason you have genitals. Don't think that our creator gave you genitals to make you want to feel good. You know, there, th those things are there for reproduction. So when you're not reproducing, and I know it sounds whatever to you, but that's, that's how it is that th those are facts of life. We're animals, bit sophisticated compared to the ones out in nature because we our brains a little bit bigger and we think a little bit too much but that extra thinking has gotten us into a lot of trouble so if we're animals and our genitals are there for reproduction what is in your concocted mind to think that you're born wrong nothing wrong with your genitals are working just fine so if you had to go reproduce you know you're 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 set you're, you're doing what you needed to do you know and and it's just like I don't get it. I really don't get it. People are just, they're losing their minds. They have way too much time on their hands. It's crazy. Totally crazy. So how's my detransition coming along? Well, I started, uh, 
can't remember exactly the date. I know it was February. I know I stopped hormones in January and I started my um, detransition journey in February. Got to look back. I think I wrote it down somewhere, but you know, everything's going status quo. I mean, I'm, I'm, um, I've lost a lot of weight. I look at my butt and my hamstrings because I used to have pretty, pretty big hamstrings. I used to body build. And since I'm not on anything, you know, I've lost a lot of muscle. So um, I'm trying to kind of put on a little bit of healthy weight, but I don't want to get fat because, you know, I've also also um, suffered from anorexia and bulimia a lot, which is another thing a lot of trans people suffer. So it's all self-image. That's all it is. Self-image. You know, it's all about looks. It's all about how how people see us, the validation and all that stuff, right? But when you get over all that stuff, you know, and, and, and it started because we didn't get the attention, the love, the recognition that we needed, and, and it just developed all sorts of stuff in our brains. And kid yourself not, you know? I mean, I get all these trans guys, well, you may feel that way, but I don't feel that way. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm this. I'm that. Listen. If you were happy, you would have left yourself alone. If you were happy, you wouldn't be taking all these drugs that hurt you, okay? These synthetic hormones will kill you. You wouldn't be cutting yourself up, putting yourself under the knife, under all sorts of dangers. Happy people don't do that, okay? You don't find happiness outside of yourself. Happiness is within you. That's something that took me a lot of years to understand, you know? So anyway... I've uh, lost like around 30 pounds. And a lot of that was muscle. So everything's kind of like dangling or whatever. So, but I make peace with it. You know, it's like, you know, I'm turning 55 years old. You know, it's like when you get to a certain age, if you're mature, then you stop worrying about what you look like so much. It's not a big deal. What you need to do is build your spirit, is be good with a creator because we're eternal beings. And I know many of you are not into understanding any of that. All you see is what's black and white, the car you drive, and how much money you have in your bank account. But this is a hiccup. Seriously, this is a hiccup. That's all this is. We're living here for a short amount of time, but we are spirit beings. We have eternal life. And when you're spending that internal life, depends on how you live here. So I'd be wor- I'd be a little bit more worried about how you're doing in the spirit department than how you're doing in this material realm. Because you can't take it with you when you go. You can't. So I'm enjoying them. This is a peach, strawberry, banana, plant-based protein powder, and a little bit of that PB Fit peanut butter with uh, almond milk, some ice, good to go, good stuff. I, um, I'm looking forward to getting back home. <clears throat> you know, I'm, I don't do much here at Silver City, and especially now because it, it's like I'm in that awkward stage. I'm still waiting for my court hearing. It's in a um, little bit over two weeks. So I could get my legal name changed and I got to go find the doctor to say that I'm a woman so that I could go to the social security office and get all that change, you know, and then change everything else. And then, you know, it's like, cause right now I'm in that in between stage, you know, I still kind of have, you know, even though I'm, I'm really happy, you know, with the way things are changing, but, and it's only been gosh, two months, three months without hormones. And um, a month, if that, since I detransitioned for a month and a little bit over a month, maybe. I'm I need terrible with times and stuff like that, but I'm doing pretty good considering, you know, as emotionally wise, I'm doing great, you know. Like I've had a few moments where it's like, you know, you're almost like, who am I? Or where, where, what did I do or whatever? And then, then you're like, oh, yeah. 16 years of wasting my life and, you know, um, I don't even, like, I, it's, like, really hard with all the shaving because 
I created a lot of body hair, back hair and all sorts of hair. And, you know, it's like, I, I used to never shave. I used to always let my beard grow, whether it was a huge beard or, or a goatee or whatever, but I always had some sort of facial hair. So this everyday shaving thing, you know, it, it's, it's, it gets tiring. It does get tiring. So I'm looking forward to hopefully being able to get some um, laser electrolysis or something to get rid of this, this, thing because it, it's it's not fun you know it's it's tearing my face up so basically you know if, if you're thinking about this if you're looking at this video and you're questioning your gender identity what is it that makes you believe that you need to be something other than who you are it's all vanity. It's all about looks because there's no function. Understand this. You will never father a child. You will never be able to do the things men do. Majority of FTMs are five foot four and that's pretty tall because I've seen some of them that are shorter. Yeah, you may take and bodybuild and put more chemicals in your body to hurt yourself and you may get a little stronger. I mean, I, you know, I got up there. I was like at one point 160 pounds. But even so, these little the little wrists, see these little bones, little feet. I remember a woman telling me, gosh, your feet are small. I was like, oh, gosh, okay, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You know, it's it's like you can't. Take Salem out of Salem. You are who you are. Doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much surgeries you get. Understand this. You will never be a man if you were born biologically a woman. And if you were born biologically a man, you will never be biologically a woman. Those are the facts of life. And I don't know who you're trying to kid. And I don't know what it is that has hurt you so badly, we all have something that triggered this. Whether it's child abuse, you know, and I love when people tell me, I'm having no trauma. Like, like really, every single human being has trauma. But the problem, the difference between the human being who has trauma and gets affected by this and the human being who has not, are those of us with neurological impairment. Every single trans person has some sort of sort of neurological impairment, whether it's a learning disability, whether it's Asperger, whether it's OCD, whether it's ADHD, whether it's anxiety, there's something going on in you. So whatever happened along with that neurological impairment created a perfect storm. And hence why you believe you're born wrong. But science will come out. They will find this out and they will tell you the truth. And this will be known as the worst travesty ever in life, ever. You know, because it's 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 not right. What what's being done to children? What's being done to what what adults are doing to themselves and their families? It's horrible. It's a perfect storm. A perfect storm. And I think that you know people need to speak up. I urge all parents to stop being afraid of the system because they're bullying you. They're bullying you and making you believe that you're a bad parent because you're not allowing your child to fulfill some childhood fantasy. I mean, how many children wish they were, you know, anything? I mean, a mermaid, a tiger, whatever it is. You know, children do that. That's what they do. But no one's born wrong. I can guarantee you that. There's nothing wrong with the person except that they're trying to fit into a society that does not want to accept the person for being different. So the person doesn't need to change. What needs to change is society, society's way of looking at things, society's way of, of dealing with things. That is horrible. This is not right. It needs to stop right now. And all of you playing dress up, all of you playing the role of being something else, I say shame on you. You know, I shame on you because you're, you're just feeding into the system. Now, understand something. You could express if you're a girl like to wear boys clothes and if you're a boy and like to wear girls clothes, that's on you. You know, that's you want to do that, that's you. 
but this whole alteration of genitals and taking cross-sex hormones and blockers and and just destroying your life all for a hiccup is very irresponsible, totally irresponsible. 16 years of my life, I shake my head at times and I'm just like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking, really? It's, it makes absolutely no sense, no sense. I, I like scratch my head and I, you know, it's like, how, how did I get here? What, what possessed me, literally possessed me to, to do this, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I've had a lot of really good response from people. I'm really happy that I'm speaking up because people are scared. People are really scared. The world is turned upside down. We've got a few, you know, trans people that are irate and they're, you know, because it's like they want to be validated. So they look at me 16 years. I was trans man on a mission and trans man on a mission is detransitioning. What does that leave me? And people are like, I used to admire you and you were the person to look up to. And, oh, I'm so sorry that I ruined your little fantasy. I mean, you know, and, and then they're trying to make me out to seem like you're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. The person who's finally woke up from the delusion is the crazy one. Interesting. That's another one of upside up and right side down. Everything is backwards. Yeah, I was crazy when I was believing and toting around the the um, alphabet soup flag, you know, pink and bluish little trans flag. I mean, it's, it's come on now, people. How old are we two? We want to play make believe and we want to live life the way we want to live it. And who cares what we do and how we destroy life? Because it's all about little old me. Where do you think you're going to be 30 years from now? Seriously. You start transitioning at a young age. You think you're even going to live 30 years with all those chemicals in your body? You're going to be so destroyed. Let me tell you, testosterone in a female body ruins your, your joints. It fries your nervous system. It fries your brain. I mean, I'm going to have to go on a massive detox for the next five years to be able to get all the stuff out of me. And I've, I've stopped testosterone on several occasions because I've always known as a medical professional that that stuff in the body is not good for long periods of time. Hormonal replacement is never meant to be in you for the long length of time. It will hurt you. You know? Big Pharma is just trying to push it. But you need to educate yourself and you need to worry about your health because what's the use of being in the gender that you wish to be to get put in a casket, you know? And not, it doesn't really help. I mean, I'm really concerned of the years that I've had the stuff in me and what I've done to my body. You know, I had a hysterectomy, so I have, I'm not producing anything. The only thing I'm on right now is Sumo Root. I'm taking two pills a day. That's 800 milligrams. I'm thinking about picking up some maca powder and see what else I could take, you know, because I won't go on estrogen. I mean, that's it's going from one evil synthetic to another evil synthetic. That's bizarre. But I need to do something because, I mean, I'm seeing my skin, everything, you know, the collagen. I'm all dried up. You know, the body's, body's not too happy with me, you know, and it's, and it's something that, I know people don't think about because they only think about the instant gratification. Okay, I think I'm going to call this. It's going to be 20 minutes. Um, so number nine, episode nine. Not a lot of changes. I'm, I'm doing good emotionally, mentally. Physically, I... <laughs> uh, it's a little hard. You know, it's a little hard because I always pride myself on... On my physique, you know, that was always the thing. Again, the pride of the physique, the looks, you know, that's that's what we we try to go for, you know, and that's and that's the problem, you know. That's what this is what this is all about. There's not nothing good other than vanity. That is the trans agenda, 
vanity. Every single young trans guy, every single young trans woman, it's all about your looks. That's all it is, one big vanity fest. But you know what? Cinderella at midnight, everything turned back to what it needed to be or what it was. And that's what's going to happen to you through the years. Your body's going to rebel, diminishing returns. Trust me. Look, it's only been two months since I've been off of hormones and all those years, all those years. And look at this, how quickly it goes away because it's not real. It's not real. You're going to hurt your health for nothing. So please don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. And as you get older, you will regret it. Mark my words. All right, guys, I love you. But remember to always love yourselves too, just the way you are.